What's going on all you beautiful people? Eric here. So I'm just out in the uh, Bonacher airport hoping to uh, maybe get some white-tailed deer on film. Definitely want to get a few uh, photographs. I only have a uh, 55 to 250 so I do have to get pretty close in order to get some nice photos. But uh, I have got a few this week. Haven't made any videos for a while. Just haven't really been uh, feeling into making videos but I am tonight so that's what I'm doing so hopefully I can get some sort of wildlife on uh, film here I'm just driving up and down the airport just got in here now so uh, if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the uh, bell notifications so you get updated of all the upcoming videos and uh, yeah, we'll uh, try and see what I can capture here tonight. So what I'm going to be using tonight to take my pictures is uh, just a Canon 80D. It's got a 55 to 250 on it. It works pretty good. I do have to get pretty close, but uh, I don't know. It takes really nice pictures. I recommend it. Tonight I have it in, I usually just go uh, manual mode with like a 1000 shutter speed and uh, do automatic ISO, but tonight I decided to switch it up and I'm going to do ISO 500, the aperture wide open and I'm just going to do an automatic shutter speed, so I don't know, I pointed into the bush and it shows me uh, 8,000. Oh, wow. Point it at the ground, I get 3,200, 2,500. So that's, that's plenty lots. I've been noticing, it's kind of bright out right now, but I've been noticing I've been getting a lot of uh, film grain up over 500 ISO. Well, about 1,000 ISO, it starts getting really bad. So uh, I'm just going to keep it at 500 ISO. And uh, Hopefully I can try and keep some of that noise out of my pictures. Hopefully I can keep the camera steady. It's going to be all uh, handheld, so I might be able to rest my arm on the on the window, take some shots from there. But other than that, I did bring my tripod. Maybe we can get a shot of the sun going down. We got some uh, popcorn clouds. They're kind of thin, but. So hopefully, I really would love a, uh, a longer lens though. Some of them are absolutely ridiculously expensive though. One I have my eye on, I guess you would say, is a uh, Tamron 200 to 600. It looks, uh, it's only about 1500 bucks, still 1500 bucks. But uh, compared to like seventeen to twenty thousand for all the Canon ones, I watch a guy uh, Morton Morton Hilmer, and he uh, uses that lens, and it seems to take some pretty nice pictures. So although he probably has a better camera than me, Canon I have a Canon 80D. It's all right, I guess. It's mid grade. It's not professional, but it's not uh, entry level. So hopefully I can grab some nice pictures tonight, bring you guys a little bit of a video anyway. So I've decided to uh, come and sit here at the uh, airport, or airplane beacon I guess they call it. It's, uh, well, it's a beacon for the airplanes out here in the airport and they have it cleared, they have it cleared out for uh, couple hundred yards all the way around it and there's a little tiny pond here at the edge of it so I've seen some blue herrings and some ducks and there's lots of uh, lots of deer tracks turkey tracks so I'm just gonna chill out here for an hour or so and uh, see what I can see
figured this is a pretty good uh, pretty good location there's a road coming in right there and I just parked the vehicle behind these trees hopefully it'll kind of break up the vehicle there's a dove at the water So hopefully I get a few shots here. I got my camera, I got my coffee, and I got time. So I guess I'm all set. All we need now is some wildlife. I'm pretty confident I'll get uh, a few shots of something. If nothing else, a bird. So what I've opted to do, instead of... Uh, hand hold the camera I just set it outside on the tripod I built a little uh, slider for it I bought a, uh, a cheaper tripod and it uh, has a little piece you can screw on the bottom of the camera but when you lock that into the uh, the tripod well it doesn't lock in it falls off when you tip the tripod forward to take a picture of the ground it falls off the tripod falls out of the tripod so I just built that little slider thing and put it on my old tripod and uh, well I don't have to lock anything in I can just leave it there it balances a lot nicer you can slide the camera forward and backwards to balance it so I think it works a lot better myself cost me nothing a couple minutes on the table saw a little bit of measuring I never had the uh, camera actually fall out of it while well, I did but I was there to catch it thank God cameras only a few weeks old so I've opted to do that hopefully something comes just filming some uh, little birdies here for the time being. I usually have pretty good luck in this location, so it's the only little wet hole around. There's been a bear. There's been a bear active around my house, but. Uh, I've gone out searching for him, but I haven't seen him yet. He's got lots of stumps tore up around the property, but... No such luck on seeing him during the day. So, as you can see, the brush is pretty long out there. I don't know if you can see way out there. Way out there. It's pretty long all the way around. But uh, I do see some brush moving over there. So maybe there's a deer or something coming in. Which would be kind of nice. Or that bear. It would be absolutely wicked to see a moose. <laughs> Can't see that happening, but uh, that would be awesome. So the brush is definitely moving. Hopefully something comes. I'll just try and keep a little bit more quiet here. So I just had a hawk come in and land over there and it sounds like he got a rabbit by the squealing that was going on. One sec, let me get you guys set up here. Based on the squealing, I'm going to say it was a rabbit. I think I got some good pictures of him.
Got one pretty decent one. Not too bad. Shutter's a bit slow, I guess. 640. I don't really want to turn my ISO up anymore because then the pictures get blurry. But I also want to. Well, maybe I'll turn it up to 800. ISO is at 800 and my shutter speed is at 800. It's a little bit slow for capturing birds, but... Uh... There. I don't know why, but my aperture was turned up. So that was pretty cool. Hopefully I can get some uh, shots of him leaving. He's down in the grass over there right now. There's a squirrel coming. It sounds like a freaking herd of buffaloes. Well, that hawk just took off. He was behind a uh, jack pine when he took off and he went straight towards the bush so I couldn't even get a shot of him. Which is too bad. It's a real nice sun right now. Probably an hour until the sun goes down. It's a pretty good little spot here. I would like to be over there a little bit with the sun to my back. It's kind of over. If I was facing the field, it'd be over my right shoulder, which is all right, I guess. If I come here again. I'm going to get a little bit tighter to those trees, though. Well, I'm going to sit here for another 20 minutes or so, and if I don't see anything. Big game wise, deer, whatever. I'm going to uh, drive down the runway because I would like to get something other than that hawk. Happy I got that though. It's a pretty cool experience. I could hear the rabbit squealing. Well, it was either a rabbit or a raccoon or a gopher. Oh, here comes a crow coming in straight at me. That's why I want to get uh, a little closer into the trees. They uh, they pretty much block my view of anything flying. Anyway, lots of crows coming in. Pretty nice shots of them, I guess. Too far away for this little lens. I'd absolutely love like a two to six hundred or even a four hundred. Be fantastic. Two fifty is just not not close enough. Like it's all right, but if you want to have some uh, stellar photos, you got to do a lot of cropping. And at ISO 800, well, it starts getting a little uh, pixely. 
It starts getting noisy for sure. Well, no such luck here. So I'm just going to uh, reset my camera. Back down to 500 ISO. Still gives me a 640 shutter speed, 4.5 aperture, and I guess I'm just going to take a drive down the runway, see what I can get, pull in my tripod, And I'm off. So this sun is uh, wickedly intense right now. It's straight in front of me, so I'm just gonna drive to the end of the runway and make my way back this way so I have the sun behind me. It'll definitely make for some better pictures. The animal's being backlit. Well, hopefully being backlit. Or side. It's like a crow convention out here. It's about 10 of them. Would be nice to see a deer, nice white tail. There's a nice eight pointer that's hanging around here. Got lots of pictures of them. I was about, uh, I don't know, 40 feet away from them the other day. Got some real nice pictures of them. I don't know why I didn't take some uh, video. I should have, I had lots of opportunity. Wasn't thinking about it. So, come to the end here, go to the road, turn around, drive back the other way, and I'll be able to see what's in front of me. Well, I've gone from one end of the runway to the other. Haven't seen anything except for that hawk. So, uh, there's probably about, I don't know, half an hour left daylight so uh, I'm gonna go to the end of the runway and do it again I've been out uh, I've been out every day almost this week and I've seen something every day got pictures of it I never took any video because I wasn't making videos so I wouldn't be surprised because I'm making a video I don't see anything tonight <laughs> usually the way it goes but we're gonna go to the end and uh, try her again it's coming on the perfect time of day so so I was uh, coming into the airport well I took the kids swimming a few weeks ago I was coming into the airport and I seen these deer standing in that road and well, I can't zoom in, but it made a real nice silhouette of a deer going down that road and I put it up on Shutterstock and someone bought it from me. So that was pretty cool. So I'm just going to sit here for 20 minutes, well maybe 15 minutes, let the sun go down a bit, let the deer come out, out to the field and uh, hopefully we can capture a few images here. It would be nice to get them on camera. While I'm making a video, anyway. Beautiful spot here. Beautiful spot. It's about a thousand acres. And it looks like nothing else around the area. Well, it was an old airport and it's abandoned now, so... Still got quite a few fields in it. Which is nice for people like me. Excuse me. So, I guess I'm just going to have a cigarette and then uh, I'll be on my way with the sun to my back. 
I was kind of hoping there would have been one uh, on the way up here because would have made a nice nice golden background see some of those guys on YouTube man they can make nice pictures although I guess they have the uh, expensive lenses and that stuff mine's just cheapy but that's how you start I guess I do have a 400 to 800 but it's an Opteca and it's no it's manual focus and it's blurry and I wish I would have known that before but the Tamron one I'm looking at it looks pretty nice guy uh, Morton Hilmer sorry I butchered your last name but uh, he uses one and he makes some really really nice pictures and he's had it for uh, years 10 years or something like that and he's never had any problems with it so that's encouraging and he's a professional photographer and uses it so it's got to be good enough right it's not twenty thousand dollars I definitely can't afford that I can yeah that's a lot of money for a lens you better be getting paid big bucks to be shooting photography if you're gonna be spending twenty thousand dollars on a lens either that or just rich and I'm only starting this uh, photography journey so learning as I go haven't taken any photography courses or nothing like that it's simply all trial and error and YouTube videos and but I do have a lot of opportunities with wildlife almost every day I see something whether it be a bear or wolf, fox, deer, coyote, you name it, it's all out here. There's even, uh, there's elk, but not in this location. Lots of crows, ravens. Never been to Iceland, never been to Greenland or any of them beautiful spots. I would love to go to uh, where it's Scotland. Man, that's beautiful country. Beautiful from well, from what I see in YouTube videos anyway. Lots of crows around here. I can be a crow photographer, professional. I see one like every 15 minutes. <laughs> There's the moon. Maybe I'll take a shot of that. white eh? what's going on there not bad I guess half moon a little under sure has a lot of craters in it you guys definitely can't see Well, I guess I'm going to uh, head back down the runway. 
I still have my ISO at 500. I'm thinking I should change it over to uh, manual shutter speed. It bounces in between like 50 and 150, 125. getting kind of slow especially if anything is moving hopefully they just stand there and look pretty for the camera hopefully they want their picture taken tonight if I see anything first you gotta see something Eric First, you gotta see something. I've come out almost every day, except for last night. I've come out almost every day out here and seen a deer or two. Some days I've seen three or four. So, if I don't see anything tonight, well, I guess that would suck. <laughs> I'm trying to make a movie on uh, capturing deer with the camera. Wildlife photography. I did get that hawk, but... Maybe this is just going to be wasted footage. Never know. I have made a couple uh, videos already and didn't post them. Alrighty, iPhone storage full. How often does that happen to you guys? Every day or what? Man, you pay for uh, 16 gigabytes, but you only get like six. The rest is all updates. So I definitely think I'm going to uh, change my shutter speed to uh, oh at least 100. That in manual, the ISO, I'm going to put it on automatic ISO, and 100, turn my aperture all the way down to 4, what do we got, 200 to 300 ISO, that's not bad. Last little cruise down the runway before we shut her down. Well, I deleted all the apps off my phone and I only have the video that I recorded from tonight on my phone and somehow my storage is still full. So I better hurry up and say thank you for watching. I guess that's gonna be it for tonight. And uh, if you haven't already, go subscribe, hit that notification so you get uh, updated of all the upcoming videos. If you want, go check me out on Instagram at uh, I'm Nature Bound. And also you can follow me on uh, an app called UPIC. It's kind of like Instagram, but uh, you can upload from your computer, so I think it's better. It's called uh, UPIC. You can find me there at uh, Eric Fabian. I'll put the link in the description. 
and uh, hope you guys all have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I don't know uh, what to call this video. Maybe uh, my photography journey, volume one, video one. I would like to do a little series on it. I do get a lot of pictures of uh, deer and, well, mostly deer, I guess. Come out here every day. But we do have wolves around, black bears. So I think that's what I'm going to call it. My wildlife photography journey, my photography journey, or those two. Anyways, you guys, you guys already know what it's called. Bumpy roads. No luck tonight with the deer, which is unfortunate. Because it's, it's the only night I uh, came out to actually shoot film. Instead of take their picture. They're movie shy. Well, you never know. There's still a little bit until I get uh, until I get back to my house. So you never know what could happen. Well, I'm gonna shut this off in case something does happen. I need the memory. Well. There's the buck standing right on the road. No shit. Hopefully he doesn't run too far here. They came, they came off my property. have my uh, my hands to record so she's gonna be pretty shaky Well, I only have my uh, my hands to record, so she's going to be pretty shaky.